Camera 9, shorty. Back at it. Back at it, boy. Happy DC morning, shorty. Wanna get back inside and go on the place on DC. <laughs> right now, in front of IHOP. About to go get something to eat. But this is my situation right here, right? I was looking at this deep dive with mentor lawyer. He's a lawyer in, in Florida. Here's, here's his page right here, deep dive. Like he's a lawyer down there. And guess some of his cases. He's a is he a prosecutor? I think he's a he's a prosecutor. Yeah, he's a prosecutor, right? Yeah, he, he's a prosecutor. And um, one of the cases I was listening to is this massacre at the lake. And you see you see the title there: triple homicide massacre um, solved in five days or less. And uh, that sheriff judge Judd on um, on YouTube, he often has a press conference about crimes that go on down there in Polk County, Florida. So this, you know, this this, this situation makes me uh, think, think about a situation that I have encountered multiple times, and you have too. When you're sitting around at your job or anywhere, and people say, I don't want to hurt anyone in life. I would never do that. I'll be I'm angry at him, but I'll never murder someone. Uh I, I fucking hate hearing that weak ass shit. I really do. That weak, that phony bull crap when people talk about, oh, I would never hurt someone. I'm angry, but only crazy people hurt people. Only crazy people murder people. That's so effing phony, boy. I'm so sick and tired of phony people, y'all. Just, just be, just be honest. I hate hearing that people can't believe that if 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 a woman tell a dude out here, hey, I'm pregnant, I hear that. I'm like, man, I hope he really happy. <laughs> people be like, yeah, everybody's happy when they hear they're having a baby. No, they not. And then people act like they, it, it, you know, it's unthinkable for God to be like, what the hell? That's why most of the time, what God say? Uh, uh what you want to do? <laughs> what you want to do? People, just, I mean, I, I don't, I don't favor the father that's finding out that he's having a kid to be angry or not happy. You know, because now he know he's going to be with that lady who was actually, you know, not his stellar choice in life. That he's now connected to her for life. I'm not championing that. I'm championing the just, just be, just be honest to be like, yeah, yeah, I could, I could see that happening. Yeah, that's it. That, and that's messed up. You know, that's how you follow it up. Yes, it's messed up. Yes, I thought about murdering someone. Hell yeah. But I know it's not right. Then you follow it up. You know, with the yeah, I I, I know I, I probably can't get away with the crime, or I know it'll be messed up. Now the thing is, in this, I looked at I, man, I listened to this case right. This guy Tony Wiggs, boy, Tony <laughs> Tony Wiggins, he lived down there in Florida, like 28, and I guess he got his truck. He took his truck somewhere to get fixed, and. The person who was fixing the truck, the one who got murdered, supposedly, supposedly, we don't know if it's true, stole the engine out of the truck and sold it or whatever. That's what it, that's what was said at the time of the murder. Tony Wiggins said, told him, what did you do with the engine from my truck? The guy said, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. And then Tony Wiggins proceeded to, 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 uh, to kill... I could say supposedly, but I think they, they they figured the case out or whatever and he's in jail, but so I could say that. He killed the he killed the guy who worked on his truck. He was in a truck with somebody else. He killed that person. And then a third person that was there, he killed that guy too. They all all three three victims were going fishing on a Friday night. And Tony Wiggins and his little brother and his girlfriend followed them to their fishing spot followed one of them to the fishing spot and, and the guy named Kevin was the mechanic I believe or whatever and he, he confronted him and he was that mad 
and killed him, right? I opened up, I looked at the comments, just briefly, probably like five comments, six comments, and everybody's like, man, it's so sad that these guys got killed and everything. And I understand that. But my thing, and I'm not, I'm telling I'm not different from, from I, I'm a normal dude. But I, I'm just honest. This is my comment right here. Where my comment, shorty? Right there. Well, did he sell his engine? You know what I'm saying? I want to know. Did he do it? Because I'm telling you, man. Here in Baltimore, you hear about people getting shot every day, every other day. Oh, no, some poor person got shot. Oh, my gosh, it's murder. Oh, But I got to say, a lot of times I've been always thinking, what did they do to deserve to get shot? Not that they deserve to get shot and die, but what did they do to piss somebody off that much that they'll put their freedom at risk? No more ladies. No more sitting in front of IHOP about to go get something to eat. No more sitting in the car with the with the car air conditioning on or heating on. No more playing PlayStation. No more taking nice hot baths or cold baths if you like it. Showers or whatever. No more going to Panera Bread. Who's willing to throw all that away? Because they're that freaking angry. Y'all think I'm... Um, being cold-blooded or going over the top, I could give you so many analogies to prove you wrong. Let's say you are me right now, sitting in the IHOP parking lot with your family probably. I'll, I'll say you did with your pastor. You could be in your car and y'all go to get out and somebody bumps into the back of your car. They go in the park, but they're not paying attention. You're like, whoa, what happened? And you look and the person get out and be like, mother effer. Why you parked there for? I thought you was moving up. And you know they're lying and you getting angry and they spit on you. You know what I'm saying? This happens all the time. The, 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 the smallest things on the roadway will piss you the hell off. That's why people get in fights at accident scenes. These people ain't going around talking about they're going to murder somebody. But when you get that mad at somebody do you wrong, you want to hurt them. You don't necessarily say murder when you wake up that morning, but in the instance, you want to F somebody up. That's what I'm saying. I'm sick and tired of hearing people saying they don't think about. How would you want to murder someone? Man, shut the hell up with that bullshit. Me right now, I would like to murder a special person. Hell fucking yes. I really would. But I know I'll be the number one suspect and I wouldn't get away with the crime. And I tell almost everybody because I'm pissed off about it. You gonna fucking steal from me and think you're gonna get away with it and think you're never gonna see me in life? You stupid fuckhead. But that's where the line is drawn. When I think, actually, I can't get away with the crime. I can't get away with it. I would love to get away with it. And I wanna hear, oh my gosh, how can you think about hurting someone? Man, it happens all the time. And people do things. To actually sort of deserve getting dealt with. They steal money. How, and, they, and you know the person you stole money from you're going to see. Why are you stealing their money? Why are you slapping their sister? Why are you punching their sister? You see what I'm saying? Why are you slashing a knife across their sister's face in a domestic problem? You see what I'm saying? Why are you getting found out that you're touching a little baby or something like that? Or your girlfriend's... You know, a lot. this happens a lot. A lady would date a guy and they have a little daughter. The guy will mess with the little daughter. So now that mother... You gonna tell me that mother don't want that man effed up when she find out? You know how much... Y'all need to take a, a trip to the courthouse if y'all think I'm going over the top. So, my question again... I, I, I just gotta ask. I just... I would like to know. Did, what happened? What happened? The guy said he didn't know what you're talking about. Of course, you ain't gonna say, Yeah, I didn't steal it. I didn't sell your engine. Um, yeah, you got me. And this had to have been going on for a while. He probably was ducking them or something. Did he take what happened with can we get the information? Did he sell the engine? You know, what happened? 
And again, this is crazy because Tony Wiggs, TJ, they call him, in his, in 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 the um, this massacre at the lake. I think they be, I believe they call it Frostproof, Florida. This guy, TJ, or whatever, he committed like 230 felonies or whatever. I think, I, 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 I man, I hope I heard it right. <laughs> Sheriff Judd said the man committed 230 felonies since he was 12 slick. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, dude. How somebody, man, now I would say, I don't, I wouldn't even say it because of his skin color he got away with these crimes so much. Because a lot of crimes is a guy here, uh, Freddie Gray in Baltimore. He committed a whole bunch of crimes. He had a long a long list of crimes that he had committed. A lot of people be going to jail a lot of times. We think you do something, you go to jail one time, you're going to get eight years. But it's some dumb luck people out here that they, they, yeah, they, the, 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 the justice system do what they can, but they get out and come back. Repeat offenders, dude. Repeat offenders going crazy, slut. Hurting people, stealing, all this kind of stuff. And this guy who committed the murder, that's a question again. How many people did he piss off? And he out here walk, walking around, think nobody ever gonna walk up to him and do the same thing he did to the guy, I believe the guy name was Kevin, hold a gun to his head like, did you hit my grandmother? You know, it's some, you hear somebody slap your grandmother. You, your grandmother say, or your, or your, you know, some elderly, older, Some older part of your family member say, meet me up at the at the at the IHOP. Let's have breakfast. And you go up there and she on the ground, her dress all all dirty, and she had and her lip is split. And you see a car pulling off. And you think it's kind of weird. Like, what did they have something to do with it? And then they, you talk to her, cause you're gonna meet the first contact, right? Your your grandmother, you're gonna meet up with her. You're gonna say something to her. Grand, what happened to you? So that man just smacked me. You know? Actually, I could think right there. What did Grand do to deserve to get smacked for somebody to smack her grandmother? What the hell did she do? Did she spit on him? You know? And people do spit on people. When it's wet outside and y'all nearly get in an accident and that person wilding down the window say, I'm going to F you up. You know? Or wave a gun at you. People do stuff, but it piss you off, yo. Piss you the hell off. So this is just another situation where I'm looking again and I'm like, Man, I looked at the first couple comments and they're all nice and well. But what did he. Well, well, okay, so this is a repeat offender. I guess there's not much you could do to piss him off. But again, you you know of him in the town. Maybe you should have re refused his services and not, not have nothing to do with him and run away or something. Or I guess you can't close your shop. The man coming in, like, if that was the problem or, or working on a car in the, you know, uh, a. Uh, What's that? A, a parkway mechanic, driveway mechanic. You know, I have people that I know that worked on other people's cars. They had people confront them, wanting to kill them because they didn't get their car back in time. So I hate hearing people say, "I would never do that. I would never commit crimes." Man, people be trying to take people out all the time, and sometimes you, you know you be like, "Man, if you go back, you, you probably shouldn't have done what you did." You know. But yeah, 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 yeah. So that's my thing. Did he sell the engine? You know, what happened with that? What what initially started it? You know? Not that he deserved that. He did not deserve to die. He did not. Nobody want murder, man. But some people do things to, to you know, what, what happened? Could he have so much, he could, could he have some, probably helped the situation or I don't know. Help it for not going so far. Again, you hear a lot of people getting shot. Do you have a chance to keep it from getting that far? From pissing a person off to want to kill him in the first place? You know, it's sad. It's sad. And that's three people. He ain't only killed the one he had a problem with. He killed all of them. This Tony Wiggins dude. It is sad and ridiculous. But the, the meat of the situation. A lot of people be like, well, it was over an engine. Not really over the engine. Or, or over... 
the drugs or whatever that happen. Like a lot of times when you hear people get shot. It's that you that you have the audacity to do this evil against me. You mother effer. I'ma F you up. Well, there you go. Just be honest, y'all. Stop this effing lying. I would never hurt nobody. I'd give you so much scenarios where you would hurt somebody. Man, it'd be boy. You walk in, somebody raping your, your loved one, your significant other. I just wanted to pull them off of them. Man, you're going to F that person up. Gamma 9, shorty. See y'all out there. I'm out here, boy. Be good. Be real, man. Damn. Gamma 9, shorty. Like and subscribe, boy.